What's up guys, this video I'm going to show you how to get the kind of Tinder photos that girls will swipe right on. Specifically, we're going to break down the difference between bad photos, average photos, and great photos. And you'll see the difference how a lot of guys who had average photos were able to get great photos so you can apply the same stuff yourself and get more matches. Alright, so in this video we're going to show you examples of what the difference is between a bad photo, an average photo, and a great photo. And specifically we're going to focus in on how you can go from having average photos to having great photos so you guys can apply these things yourself. But first let's try to understand what exactly is a bad Tinder photo. Here's example number one, and this is terrible for a variety of reasons. Every single girl is going to swipe left on this. First of all, he's taking up very little space, his body language is poor. Second of all, it's an upwards angle which makes him look smaller. Third of all, his outfit, he just looks like a nerdy IT guy. Fourth of all, he has a bad, you know, weird, awkward facial expression. Fifth of all, again, this photo is really not that good. Just looks like he's kind of posing, but posing in a very bad way. So this photo, no girl is gonna swipe right on. Here's take a look at another example. So aside from the fact that this is a selfie, this guy looks like he belongs in a special ad class. Like again, he's got a really weird facial expression. I wouldn't try to say that if this guy took a few photos back to back, the other ones would be better. He just picked the worst one as an example, right? Again, it's a selfie, the background is, you know, pretty boring, right? This is just a terrible photo and every girl's gonna swipe left on this. And let's take a look at one more. So this is a bathroom selfie. Those are not great. This guy's facial expression looks really like just forced. He just looks like he's gotta take a shit really bad and he's trying to get a Tinder photo right before he takes a dump. Also, uh, you can see the lighting is not that good and the lighting is hitting his face in a weird way, right? Which is gonna make him look worse. Uh, so as you can see, the common pattern here is these three photos is the fact that one, the guys look uncomfortable, their facial expression is off, poor body language, bad lighting, right? And they look very posed or they're try hard, right? So now we understand what is a bad photo. Let's take a look at how you can go from an average photo to a good photo. So here we have a gym selfie. I would say this is a slightly below average photo. Uh, yeah, definitely slightly below average. It's not terrible. It's not as terrible as other ones we saw, but again, it's a selfie. Selfies are not ideal, right? His facial expression, while not being terrible, also doesn't look great. And the lighting isn't very flattering either. Now let's take a look at the difference between this and this photo. I mean, this is just so much better. Now I would say that his facial expression is still a little bit off. It looks like his eyes are closed. So I would rate this photo maybe a seven out of 10, right? And we're not talking about the guy's look. We're just talking about the photo quality. But the previous photo was maybe a three or four out of 10, right? But again, the lighting is a lot better. You can see that the camera quality is a lot higher. The background is blurred, so it has that cool effect. It looks like he's doing something, right? He's playing the guitar. I don't care if he just picked up the guitar for the photo. From the girl's perspective, it looks like this guy's doing something. He's not trying hard. He's not posing for the camera, right? And of course, the lighting being much more flattering is making him look better. So the only thing that I would say is wrong with this photo is the fact that it looks like his eyes are closed and the facial expression. But honestly, that could be very easily fixed in FaceApp. So I would venture to say if he went on FaceApp and he changed his facial expression, this would look, this would be a solid photo. He can make this an eight out of 10. Uh, I don't know if he can do anything about the eyes being closed. Okay, here's another very average photo. It's not terrible. Right? You know, he's not, the facial expression, body language isn't terrible, but just his smile is just way too wide. He looks like literally just a chipmunk crawled up his ass and now he's just like, ah, right? Like it's just, it's just a weird look. I mean, I guess he's eating sushi in the background, but again, it's a decent photo, but it's not one that's going to make a girl's panties wet. Now let's compare that to this photo. I mean, this is just so much better for a variety of reasons. And that is literally the same guy, but you can see there's a massive difference. The previous photo was maybe a four or five out of 10. This photo is like an eight or nine out of 10, right? So again, the lighting is a lot better, which makes him look good. His facial expression is much more, I guess, serious, but that's, that's kind of good. You don't want to be like the smiling jackass. Uh, he's doing an activity, right? It looks very natural. And it's also like, this kind of gives you like a central vibe. The girl's like, ooh, what is he doing? Why is he pouring wine? Is there another girl there? Blah, blah, blah. So this is significantly better. Again, better camera quality, better lighting, and looks a lot more natural. Let's take a look at one more example. So this photo, again, is probably like a four out of 10. It's very posed, right? The lighting isn't hitting him super well. Uh, you know, his body language looks a little stiff. Uh, yeah, so this photo will probably be a three or four out of 10. Now compare that to this. This is noticeably better. Every single thing is better about this photo. I would say this photo is a seven or eight out of 10. Now look, this guy's definitely on the older side. So in terms of looks, he's not gonna be an eight out of 10, but this is a very, very solid photo. Again, it looks very natural, right? You can see that's a common theme. Uh, he's doing an activity. The lighting is a lot better. Uh, the angles are a lot better. Every single thing is better about this photo. So as you guys seeing a pattern here, let's take a look at one more and this is me. So this is an average photo. I would rate this a five out of 10. Again, 
I'm not posing super hard, but it does look like I'm just kind of like, why would a person sit like this? It just clearly looks like I am trying to, you know, pose for a photo. It's not super posed, but it's fairly posed too. The lighting isn't that flattering. There's too much light out right now. It's hitting my face uh, too directly, right? And that's basically kind of hiding my facial features, right? Three, the angle is a little bit weird. It's kind of makes me look a little, uh, whatever, slanted. Uh, this was not taken on a professional camera. You can clearly see that. Uh, now compare that to this photo. I mean, this is so much better. The previous photo was maybe a four out of 10. This photo I would say is a nine out of 10 or 10 out of 10. I have a really badass look on my face, right? It looks like I'm just like some kind of Russian hitman or something like that. Uh, you know, I'm doing an activity, uh, I, you know, have a drink. The lighting is perfect. The camera quality is perfect. The background is blurred, right? It looks like I'm just waiting on some hot chick to come over, right? Everything about this photo is on point. And let's take a look at one more example. Now, the camera quality, this was not taken on a professional camera. This was taken on an iPhone, but it's still a very solid photo the lighting is better because this is an hour before sunset right which is considered the golden hour so right after sunrise or right before sunset is the best time to take photos outdoors it looks like i'm doing an activity right it's not try hard uh, i would say i look pretty good in this photo this photo will probably be an eight out of ten the only thing that could have made this photo better is if i waited a little bit longer 20 30 minutes so the light didn't hit my face so directly and i used a higher quality camera and then this photo could be a nine out of ten but you can kind of see the difference if we go back to the previous one uh, that a professional camera versus a iPhone could make. But you can still get very, very solid photos on one of the latest smartphones, either an iPhone or Samsung or whatever. But let's again, to quickly sum up, what are the differences between, you know, average photos and, and great photos? That difference is that one with average photos, it's like, it just looks like, yeah, you're not directly posing for the camera with a selfie, but it just still looks like you're kind of trying hard, right? Versus a great photo looks very natural. The lighting is on point and lighting is huge. Lighting can make a massive difference between how you look. And girls have known about this for ages. It's only guys that are kind of coming around to this. Also an angle, right? An angle can make a big difference. So if the angle is from up top, right? Or it's a weird angle, that's gonna make you look smaller. It's gonna make you look meek. Versus if you have a slightly below uh, average or below neutral angle, you're gonna look taller and you're gonna look you know, a lot better. Also just your facial expression, all that stuff, your body language and all those factors combined is gonna make the difference between having an average photo and having a great photo that girls will actually swipe right on. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and the last but most important step to getting the best Tinder photos that girls will swipe right on is showing your love for PWF by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe and clicking the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.